All right, guys. Today is the first day of this the Credo Project. Um, it's the day before the U.S. History paper, but I'm gonna get started on my Credo. The goal is to spend twenty or ten to thirty minutes, fifteen to thirty minutes, every day, trying to draw, just practice, uh, practice what I can. No matter how much work I have to do, just gotta crank through my fifteen, twenty minutes, thirty of drawing. I'm gonna watch tutorials online, test how how efficient learning off the internet is, and I think this is gonna be good. I've been drawing for a while. Every, or most classes, if I'm bored, sorry, Mrs. Zito, you know, I'll uh, do it on my papers. Um, yeah, and here's here's a few of them right here. All right, also part of my credo is that um, I'm going to try to test how good learning off the internet is. I just looked up how to draw, how to draw a realist, a hyper-realistic eye with a pencil, because I'm not trying to bust out no supplies. Like, I don't have no paints or anything. I got my trusty steed right here, my pencil. And I'm going to watch this 14-minute video and try to draw this hyper-realistic eye. Look at that. That is what I'm gonna have to draw. The guy in this video is acting like drawing with one pencil is such a crazy thing. Look. In this video, I'm going to uh, do a challenge. I'm actually going to draw an eye using only one pencil. That's right, guys. I'm only gonna use one pencil. The pencil that I'm going to be using. One pencil. All right, he's doing it side. He's doing it holding like this, going down. It's very light. I can't do this. By the way, I'm going to speed up the video just a little bit. Speed up the video? 20 minutes. Oh my god. This is awful. I can't. This video is not good. Look how fast he's going. I can't get that fast. Alright, so I ditched the eye, just an hyper realistic eye tutorial. I'm taking a step back to. An article so it doesn't go a million miles per hour and go my own speed. Learn to draw a face in eight keyword easy steps. Beginners. That's that's what I'm looking for. Beginners easy. Mm -mm. Alright, so it turns out that the beginner easy steps still requires here are the tools you need. Well, I just have a pencil. Like what? Why do you more than a pencil? And an HB pencil, whatever that means. I don't even no idea. A ruler. A Sakura electronic eraser. Is he like, like how does that? Um, a kneaded eraser. I have no idea what that means. A Canson recycled sketch paper. Can you just have pencil and paper? Why do I need Sakura's electronic kneaded uh, three thousand eraser? All right, so this is like the fourth try. I ditched the article approach because it required tools. Then I found a. a Video, 19 minutes long, how to draw faces. All you need, a pencil, paper, draw a face. Let's see how it goes. All, all those lines and stuff matter eventually, trust me. And here's mine. I think I'm kind of close. A nice set of boundaries to draw. All right, well, she's going too fast. Let me... The symmetry is, um, is what's going to get me. Hi. If you're stuck on this step... Check out the tutorial above. Oh, yeah. If you're stuck on this, check out my 500 million other videos. Why does he look so sad? God, how's it look so much better than mine? Oh my god. Look at his hair. <laughs> look at his hair. Oh my god. <laughs> Hairstyle versus. Check this girl's. Oh my god. How 
How does he do that? Is that even how you draw an ear? I thought I, I thought I knew what ears looked like. Can make some I mean, hers is and better. I'm just gonna apply a bit of but like, look at that guy. Yeah. This is kind of sick. Features. Look at that. The hair didn't even turn out that or not bad. Kind of, that's kind of cool. I like it. So drawing a realistic face was cool and all, but I think we're gonna stick with cartoon faces. It's kind of easier. Look, it took me that. It took me ten minutes to do that. Let's see how long it takes me to draw a cartoon guy. Are you ready? dancing guys this guy looks kind of cool but i had way more fun drawing this guy with his little <laughs> his kid's cane all right it's kind of cool and you can improv i just don't like going off tutorials that much cartoon people are way more fun i also thought it'd be cool to draw someone with a punch with just a punch like right here like an action shot that's what i did how about is i supposed to like when punching flesh i kind of over exaggerated a little bit but and then i i turned it down a little bit with this but it's his lips. <laughs> his, this guy is getting punched. This is the spit flying out. His eyes are flying out. It's just a really powerful punch. <laughs> it's, oh man. I've learned it doesn't need to be good at. I mean, that made me laugh. That's good in my book. I guess you could say I have art genes. Two out of three of my older brothers did do art, and they were pretty good. So I'm, I might have some art gene, I don't know. I was just enjoying myself drawing and practicing. I didn't really realize I was practicing, I was just drawing to keep myself focused. It became a hobby. I think I learned that um, practice does not make perfect, it makes better. I never really abided to the um, 30 minutes a day. It was more like 15 minutes every other day at my house. I would still be drawing during my classes, but that's not really like that's all you that's all you that's on your mind you're just thinking about improving your art it's it's more like it's kind of in the background because the real focus is in the class but the real learning i got is from tutorials online because i found myself i would watch a tutorial online on how to draw a certain type of nose and then i would stay with that nose i would implement that nose into all my drawings i would only use that nose because that's the only nose i'm confident in one tutorial told, told, told me how to do ears a certain way i do ears that way for all my drawings because that's the only tutorial I've seen. If I had more time and I could watch more tutorials, I could adapt, mix different styles, create my own style, maybe not rely on tutorials that much, branch out more, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna continue to practice drawing. It's entertaining and I enjoy doing it and I think I'm gonna continue to improve this skill for as long as I can. As long as I have the time to draw, I'm gonna try to and continue to improve later in my life. Thank you all for listening to my project. Um, hope you like my comic.